It's no secret that the College of Worcester men's basketball team is one of the best Division III programs in the country. What is a secret is what makes them so good. For this year's group, the answer may be the Rubik's Cube. Although the 3D puzzle game's popularity reached its peak in the 1980s, six Worcester student athletes have rediscovered the Rubik's Cube and are having a blast solving it. I actually learned how to do the Rubik's Cube in high school. And uh, my freshman year, I brought it to the team. I was doing it on a road trip. Some of the guys took an interest to it, and now it's, uh, it's a good hobby for the team. With academics and athletics taking up the majority of their time, the Rubik's Cube has become a way for the teammates to wind down and bond. But just like they strive to win on the court, that same competitive spirit oftentimes spills over to the Rubik's Cube, where each player has his own trick to solving the puzzle. Trick? If you know your algorithms, then you should be okay. There's a lot of different patterns, so it takes a while to learn. Um, basically one step at a time and just keep practicing that step over and over until you can add them all together. The Rubik's Cube is just one of the many things that make Worcester's men's basketball program a special one. Since 2000, the Fighting Scots have put together a remarkable stretch that has made them the winningest basketball program in the country during that span. The team also plays in front of one of the largest home crowds in Division III, with some games reaching over 3,000 in attendance. There's a lot of big universities out there that um, you just don't get that same kind of atmosphere and uh, I really like the, the small community and I like the winning tradition that we had here um, so I just want to be part of something big like that. While their on the court talent is unquestioned there is much more to these Worcester student athletes. Beyond their interest in the Rubik's Cube each of these six is unique in his academic pursuits. I'm a major in math and a minor in education. I'm majoring in philosophy. My major is history. I'm majoring in communication studies. I'm majoring in business economics. I'm a history major and an education minor. It's a tall task to excel both in the classroom and on the court, but Worcester's men's basketball program continues to solve that puzzle. Oh, it's been awesome. I couldn't ask for a better situation, um, both academically and with athletics, so I love it here.